I'm going to talk about BIOS. BIOS is one of, it's very crucial in a PC. Without the BIOS, the PC will not, it will not start up. If the BIOS has problem, there will be nothing. Yes, so that shows the importance of BIOS. So in this lesson, I'm going to talk about BIOS, the importance of BIOS, what BIOS has been replaced with, and why BIOS was replaced, and how we can resolve BIOS problem. Okay, so let's get started. BIOS is an acronym that is B I O S. It simply means basic input output system. And BIOS, it's simply a firmware that is stored on a microchip. Yeah, let me show you an example of such microchip. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, very small. Yeah, something like that. Yes, something like this. And something like this, it is a memory. Yeah, it is a memory. And let me show you how it is. Uh, it is on the motherboard. So this is a motherboard, an old motherboard. Yeah, you look at the BIOS here. See, that is it right here. You can see? Yeah, this thing. Yeah. So that is BIOS chip. It is a memory, and it it depends on the PC. It is of different sizes. We have that of 4 MB, 4 MB size. There is 8 MB, 16, 32, 64. It goes like that. So what it does is that it stored the firmware on a need, right? So what does it do? It initializes the hardware components on the motherboard, on a PC. You must have noticed if something is done on a pc maybe let's say for his for example a desktop a mouse is not being connected or a keyboard is not being connected and you say that a keyboard is not being connected or if the memory the ram of the pc is changed there will be um something that is shown on the screen yeah and information on the screen that says that the memory of this pc has changed no keyboard was connected no mouse was connected <clears throat> what is giving that report? It is simply BIOS. Yes, that is the BIOS that is doing that. So basically, on a PC, on a computer, yeah, two softwares are being run. Number one, the one that will run first is the BIOS before it will pass it on to the operating system. Now depends if the operating system is Windows or the operating system is Ubuntu. Yeah, but the first thing that will run on a PC, it is BIOS. So when a, BIS, when a PC is turned on, the BIOS does something that is called POST. That is power on safe test. So basically, it tests the hard, all the hardware that is on the PC. That's how you get the message that a RAM has been changed. And if keyboard is not being attached, it will tell you that the keyboard is not, is not attached. That is BIOS doing POST. That is power on safe test and give me the report. In the previous video, I've, I made a video regarding RAM. Now, I love one thing about HP. Take for example, if the PC has RAM problem, there will be three caps of blinking. Yeah, that is BIOS doing the job. That's the BIOS giving a report that something is wrong with the RAM. Now, let's, for you to identify, is it that the RAM that is bad or the Problem comes from the motherboard. Maybe a voltage is not getting to the RAM section. So NSE giving that three capstone blink. And sometimes it could be that the CPU, it has problems. So they will be blinking. It will blink like um, um, CPU should be one. Yeah, one. While a general board failure will be five times. That is for HP. So different pieces have their different diagnostic, uh, their, their method of diagnosis. Yeah. So what is giving those reports is simply the BIOS. In the BIOS, aside from that it initializes the hardware, right? And it tests the components, the, the hardware that is on the PC, on the motherboard, right? It also, it, it manages the settings of the PC. And if you want to disable something in the OS, you do that in the BIOS. In summary, 
it can make a configuration of a PC in the BIOS. So aside from testing you know, different devices on the motherboard to check that if, if the RAM is okay, if the CPU is okay, if there is mouse connected to it and blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's also manage the settings of the PC. Yeah, in other words, it manages the configuration of the PC of the PC. Right, so that is about BIOS. And there's also something called CMOS. Okay, so on this motherboard here, this motherboard, or this motherboard, look at this page. This is a part for CMOS battery. Okay, so now CMOS come in, and CMOS simply means complementary metal oxide semiconductor. CMOS is simply a powered memory chip. So without battery, without a power, it's going to lose whatever that is on it. We have BIOS firmware, and it has settings. The settings is stored in the CMOS, right? So the settings is stored in the CMOS. And here we have a battery that keep the settings in place because the CMOS is a battery powered and yes, CMOS battery. So that is why if something is wrong, you want to reset the CMOS, you want to reset the BIOS, you just remove the battery. It reset is, it will lose all the settings of the BIOS. So that is where CMOS comes in. So basically CMOS is a battery powered uh, chip that save the settings of the BIOS. Now, PC has turned, has turned on and the BIOS has tested the equipment uh, or the components on the board and said that, okay, everything is perfect. Now, next thing that it's going to do is that it's going to pass on to the OS. It's going to uh, load the bootloader of the operating system. Then the OS, maybe it's Windows 7 or Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, Windows 11, or Ubuntu will not take over. All right, so that is basically, that is all about BIOS. BIOS has limitation, yeah? It has a limitation, and the limitation is that, number one, it can't support more than two TB of hard drive of a storage device, it cannot. So that is number one limitation. Number two limitation of BIOS is that it cannot support more than four partitions. Yeah, that is basically two, limitations of BIOS. So with that, BIOS is replaced with UEFI. That is UEFI. And UEFI means Unified Extensible Firmware Interface. With BIOS, okay, with BIOS, there is a partition scheme. Yeah. And the partition scheme, it's as to do with you know, when you have a PC, there's always, right? And always we have a storage device, be it hard drive or SSD, right? And that storage device, it is of, it is either you have an MBR partition that is master boot record, yeah, or GPT, and that is guide partition table. MBR, uh, bio support MBR, that is master boot record. So it, that MBR does, cannot have more than four partitions. So it's only support for my, four partitions or less. And with GPT partition, it supports more than four partitions. And also it supports more than two TB. So version of BIOS, UEFI came in in order to, you know, to remove the limitations. Yeah, so basically every other thing remains the same like um testing the devices to show that yes everything is perfect you know the first being the first firmware to run before it's passed on to the whole so every other thing remains the same okay so uefi is advanced than bios yeah so we remove the limitations that bios has now here comes what could possibly go wrong with bios yeah simply it can corrupt so that is why if a PC is turned on and it blink, I think HP should have, I think two blinking should be for BIOS. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, two. If a capsule blink twice, that means the BIOS is corrupt. There's a BIOS corrosion of 
thereabouts. Yes. So when a BIOS is corrupted, remember, there are two firmwares, or yeah, that are drawn on the PC. That is the BIOS firmware, is the, the primary one, and then it will now pass on to the OS operating system. Now imagine if the primary thing that should run as false, what will happen? Will the PC turn on and boot? No, it won't. It won't. So that means when BIOS is corrupted, yeah, when it is corrupted, that means there's no the PC is not going to work. So if there's a BIOS corruption, what you can do is to just reprogram it. I've made tons of videos there regarding that how to how to program BIOS. Okay, so th this same ship, just remove it and put it in a programmer and reprogram it. That means you fetch a firmware, a good firmware, and you write it on it. Yeah, you write it on it, and it's going to work. Yes, and sometimes this, you no, know, this is a memory. It can go bad. Yeah, it can go bad. Maybe it won't show the size, or it will show zero, um, zero MB, or it should show kilobyte instead of showing like sixteen MB, and show it like zero kilobyte, or showing like one KB. That means it's bad. And sometimes it's not even show at all. So this chip do go bad. So how you identify it on the motherboard is it's 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 the biggest actually. When you compare it with others, it's actually the biggest. Take for example this. Look at this one and compare with others. Something regarding yeah. Look at this and compare it with with this BIOS chip. This right here. This and this. Look at the size. It's bigger. Yeah. It's bigger. Okay. So next is to show. No, how to program BIOS. I'm going to attach the yeah the video. How yes, a BIOS can be reprogrammed. Yeah. And sometimes it could be that the BIOS has been passworded. And to do this, you have to remove it. Remove, wipe that one. The one that is passworded is either you remove the password, yeah, or you just wipe it off and write another firmware on it. And it's going to work automatically, it's going to remove the password. Yeah. 